Okay, we're back, and uh, we're here with uh, Sneaky Pete Colano and uh, Dean Parsons uh, from the Climb Burrito Brothers that have uh, reformed and have a uh, brand new album out, by the way, also uh, on uh, Columbia, which uh, is a real treat. The album's uh, well, nice you. to see. How did you guys decide to uh, to get uh, the burritos back together? Well, it's sort of a long story. Uh, Sneaky and Gib and I and Joel and Chris have known each other for hundreds of years, I guess. <laughs> Uh, the fact is, uh, Gib Gilbo was the first guy I ever played professionally with way back when I was a kid. And uh, we worked in different bands together and recorded and, and all that. And Joel and Chris and myself were living up in Northern California and we were kind of gigging around just for fun, you know. And uh, we were talking with Sneaky and Gib and we decided that uh, we should probably throw the thing back together again because it's a, a kind of a funny trend of events, uh, but uh, Gibb and, uh, and myself and Clarence White were approached by Graham Parsons and uh, Chris Hillman way back in 67 to form a group called the Flying Burrito Brothers. And uh, this was before, of course, there was any Flying Burrito Brothers and we never really were able to go in. This is after some of those guys had come out of the International Submarine Band. And right, yeah, well, uh, Graham had just dropped out of the birds and uh, Chris was still in the birds. And uh, instead of us going into the Flying Burrito Brothers, what happened was uh, myself and, and Clarence joined the birds and then Chris dropped out and, and uh, started the Flying Burrito Brothers with uh, Sneaky and Chris Etheridge and everything. And So now after all this, here we are in the Flying Burrito Brothers. <laughs> It all goes around. It seems like uh, that whole family of, uh, of groups, like the Birds and uh, the original Burrito Brothers, everybody's still uh, still working. And, uh, yeah. You know, everybody's still showing up and coming up with uh, new things. Like uh, Byron Berline was in, in town not too long ago, and he's still uh, playing strongly. And uh, Chris Hillman family. and Rick Roberts are playing together now, I guess, in... Uh, in their group. It seems yeah, we like just that. ran into them, uh, where was it, at the, somewhere in Pennsylvania, I don't know where. And the stuff that they're doing, it sounds, uh, I mean, they're doing a lot of old, the old uh, Brito Brothers tunes. Mm -hmm. So, that's some good music. Are you, you all on the, in the middle of a tour now? Yeah. yeah, we're right in the middle of a tour. Uh, we're about a third of the way through it. We've got a three-week tour. We just came off a three-week tour. And we've got another three-week tour coming up. Uh, we, we've got to go to New York today. We'll be playing at the other end tomorrow. Uh, then I think, where, where do we go? We go to Lexington, Kentucky with Lexington. Linda Ronstadt and uh, on down to Tulsa, Oklahoma and over to Armadillo and, and uh, Texas. And then we've got to come back and play the Beacon Theater. And back in New York, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a rough routing, but we're jumping back and forth. Yeah, it, do you get a lot of uh, different reaction in different parts of the country? Uh, we found it to be pretty uniform. Uh, we, we get a good reaction almost everywhere we go. Uh, real happy about that. And we get a real good reaction on the East Coast and in the South. Uh, probably the, the East Coast and South is uh, one of our best places to play in the United States. Do you ever play the Midwest very much? Not too much. We haven't gotten into the Midwest yet. Uh, we might later on next fall or something like that. I'm not sure. We haven't done too much in the Midwest, but uh, I'm sure it would be good. Yeah. Well, listen, I know you guys, uh, you have to catch a plane and everything like that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I hate to come uh, running in here and then run right back Well, out. I really want to thank you for for uh, coming by, you know, for taking the time out. I know you got a well, that's okay. busy schedule and everything like that. We really but, want uh, everybody to hear the record. That's the yeah. thing. We want everybody to hear it because I think it's really a good record. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, and uh, why don't we uh, listen to it? And I know you guys got to uh, take off, so we're going to be listening to the record while you're uh, taking on off. your way to the airport <laughs> or whatever. But uh, thanks again for coming by, and I hope uh, if you get back to town in the near future or anytime you get back to town that. Uh, you'd be able to come up and spend a little more time with us. We will. We'll, we'll, we'll make it a real Great. point to come by. Thank Thanks you for a lot. Thank you. Oh, thank you for coming. This is WHFS Bethesda 102.3 FM, and it's uh, a couple minutes past uh, 2 o'clock right now. Uh, my name is Josh, and I'm about to uh, go home, get some lunch, uh, listen to David, who will be taking you through until uh, 5 o'clock this evening. Don't forget, uh, starting at 4 o'clock, uh, 
the new times for the rubber buddy hours from four until midnight uh commercially uninterrupted music so i hope you'll uh, tune in for that uh once again i'd like to uh thank gene parsons and uh sneaky pete for stopping by and uh saying hello we were just listening to uh, some music from the new flying burrito brothers album called flying again which uh, features besides uh gene parsons and uh, sneaky pete uh joel scott hill uh, and uh, chris etheridge and uh gib gilbo and uh from the album we heard building fires wind and rain river road easy to get on and then uh the classic uh tune dim lights thick smoke and loud loud music old uh, jody mapis tune and then uh hot burrito number three and uh stay tuned for david have a uh, nice uh, afternoon there should be some sunshine this afternoon with temperatures getting up in the high 60s.